Welcome to our online service today. I imagine your experience of Anzac Day yesterday was a bit different from usual uh, in this time of suffering that we're going through. Uh, in times of suffering, we're often, uh, we often kind of remember the good times of the past. We often reminisce about them and look forward to the better days ahead. Uh, but one really good avenue for our thoughts, as Anzac Day reminded us, is to actually look back on the sad days of history, uh, as I imagine you did yesterday. Uh, and it, it can be good for us to reflect on stories of sacrifice, stories of honour and service, because those stories build in us a gratefulness for those who went before us and also a gratefulness that these days, as bad as they are, there have been worst. Uh, one story particularly struck me, uh, and it was a story of Mertoon Mills. He was a local boy uh, born to the Mills family who had a family business uh, called Railway House. It's on the corner of High Street and Lawson Street opposite the pub there. At the time of his enlistment, his occupation was listed as a drapery salesman, probably working in the family business. In 1916, he travelled by boat uh, along with the other AIF soldiers uh, to Devonport, England, uh, and then transferred to France. He served in the Flanders region before going to the northern, uh, northern France region. Uh, and he was attached to the divisional ammunition column, whose role it was to bring ammunition and supplies to the battery positions. Mertoon Mills uh, was killed in battle just after uh, Messines on the 12th of June, uh, 1917. Uh, he was having dinner when a shell hit a house and killed an old woman, a few soldiers, two children uh, and a young girl. Mills ran to their rescue and another shell hit and killed him. Uh, his good friend, Lieutenant Burnett, uh, wrote to his wife saying, I was very fond of him and he died a hero. It's stories like this that are worthy of our reflection, aren't they? They're good for us. Uh, indeed, uh, Philippians 4.8 reminds us that these are good things to reflect on. Uh, 4.8 says, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Well, friends, John Batten is going to come and teach us from 1 John in a moment. But before he does that, we're going to sing together.